Go ahead. All right, Goji Furon. Uh, Furon going with the Marth. And Goji Godzilla Brawler, as well as you call it. Uh, going with Sheik. Basic take ups. Yeah, you gotta check those forward airs. Um, very similar level here. Uh, ooh. Should have gotten back with that one. Uh, but okay. So it takes one. Unfortunately, he's putting himself into a bad spot here just because, uh, to be fair, it, it wasn't really executed too well. But Marth, if Abel was just able to use his up airs, uh, Sheik wants to keep on the ground in this matchup. Sheik wants to keep on the ground. She wants to uh, get a lot of grabs uh, and tilts off the grabs, forward airs off the tilt. So well, there you go, the forward air, but again, a little deep or something. Gets him with the tournament winner, a little bit of points there. Ooh, uh, yeah, definitely a flub. Double flub, he done. All right, 82 difference. Just sit with the needles, wait till he comes in. Uh, he's able to react, he uses a shield to cancel it. Good him. Down air, forward air, uh, down tilt, forward air, done. All right. So again, this is this is what I mean. Now he's now he's putting himself into a bad position by being above him. Um, there's the grab, forward, no re grab. Okay. You don't really have any Okay. Ooh, could have gotten the down air. That should have been a tipper off the side. So again. Ooh. Yeah. Goji needs to go lower there. Sheik's advantage of being able to use that up B to, to jump her to the ledge and then be unpredictable for where the, the actual up B leads to. Good. Yeah. Uh, Furon is, is most definitely trying to get underneath of uh, underneath of Godzilla Baller. Um, so there, just hold the ledge. You clearly put the fear in down to one. So again, going high, going high, going high. It needs to be fixed. Okay, keep it down. Keep your fingers moving. Forward tilt. Uh, forward air. Good try. Catches him. Forward air. Ooh, almost got the needles. The needles would have been good to see. Okay, there it is. Nope, just missed it. Furon's definitely having some little bit of little bit of nerves there. But ooh, that as a momentum switch might be a good thing to bring him back. All right, well Furon, he can do this. He can do this. It's difficult, and he's going to need a space well. Um, but I, I can tell that, you know, Godzilla Brawler sometimes gets a little, a little flustered. He doesn't know what to do there. He goes for things like a, a dash attack. And although it's not a bad move at all, he needs to be so careful. So there. Ooh, just missed the tipper. Okay. Back air. Smash attack. Okay. Need to space that. Could have been a kill if it spaced. So, ooh, forward tilt. Grab, misses the grab. Furon might get this. There it is, Furon, gonna get this. All he has to do is hold ledge and wait. There it is. Good job for Furon. Able to bring it back. Good job. Hey, but this is the game of melee. You are not out until you are out. You are not out until you're all the way out. So the game says done. Now, I will say, this tournament is a little bit different um, from ones that we've had in the past, just because uh, I'm Dutch, I'm, I'm from uh, 
I'm from a little bit uh, lower Delaware, where this is actually lower Maryland. So I crossed the state line to come play, and I brought a couple of my friends from my area. And a lot of these guys are good, good players, so it's really cool to see them come out. Uh, they decided that they wanted to join me today, and it's it's interesting to see how some of these players who are so dominant uh, here in Nap Turbo, uh, these guys are, are going to have a, a, a game on their hands, uh, especially when people like Spood Beast. He decided to guest us today. Uh, he's from Dover, but man, this guy can play. He's a Luigi player. Um, so we'll really see how this tournament turns out later tonight. Those, those matches are surely going to be uploaded if we have them recorded. Um, but uh, Godzilla Brawler, he, he really needs to think here. Uh, the things to go for are the guarantees, the guarantees. Back air, guarantee, back air, guarantee. Okay, get the grab, go off the grab. Come on, follow up text chase. There it is, look at that needle, well done. All right, get the re-grab, back throw after some pummels, good job. Okay. Furon, let's see what he does. He's been struggling to get back, but there seems to be a lot of tech flows all over the place. And in, in numerous games, this is becoming the case. A lot of those forward airs, at least for Furon, just need to be, what he needs to do there is he needs to fast fall and mix up the timings of those fallings because he's getting the shield grabs from him when if he's able to make it fast, oh, the ledge tag, I don't know if, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but man, it's always fun to see him. Okay, grab him, get him above you. Grab him, get him above you. Good try. Good try. Yeah. Godzilla Ball a lot of the times is is playing the game where he knows he's there, he sees that he has the option, and then he goes for it. When the difficulty is he needs to know that he's gonna be there before he gets there. That's what's gonna set the difference of, ooh, like right there. He needs to know that he's gonna use that up B. And if you sit there and you hold too long, as any Marth player knows, I'm gonna take advantage of that. My up B comes up quick enough, I can hit you off and I can keep going. So we'll see, is he able to bring it back again? I don't know, this one's a little bit further than the last match. But uh, this is on this is on loser side. We'll see what happens. Koji gets a good stop there. Okay. So again, those mix up on your jumps. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. It makes you predictable. Okay. Koji, just be comfortable. No reason to rush. No reason to rush. That's right. Now you can take advantage. Take advantage of the fact that you're in that position. In fact, it may even be better for him to just wait this out. Wait out the stage. There's no point in fighting. It's a good idea. The top pisses him off. But no. Unless he can, unless he's practiced those wave lands, wave dash off, and then get the back air, there's no way he can be fast enough. And even then, he's able to react faster. See right there. Back roll. Got him. There it is. A little unpredictable, but too predictable. Forward air. Oh, that could have been a forward air back air. A forward air down air. Could have had the Ken combo from it. Back up. Good try. So, ooh, how did that hitbox hit? It was so far. Wow. Double up air. All right. Should be done. Should be done. Yep. You know that he's going to go for that side smash. He's been doing it the entire game. He gets you off the side. He's waiting for you to land, and he goes for the side smash and tries to time it. But you can take advantage of that. Good. So that speaks so highly of how he's playing right now. If you're throwing out counters and you're down two stocks, I mean, you know that you're playing scared. There it is. Goji goes ahead and takes game two. So there it goes, one to one. Um, 
And this is the reason that you have to play three games because I think out of that, you can you can see that uh, that Godzilla Brawler is the more dominant player. Um, but they have to do this third game because now, you know, if that first game was a flub, now you have the actual proof. Now you can see who the better player is. So they go... So they go for game three. And again, there's that side smash. He's going for it all the time when they're off the ledge. It's important to know. It's important to learn. You've got to watch your opponent. Okay. So Goji's just going to wait for him to come back on stage. He likes that matchup. And this is where, like, practicing at home, a lot of people say, oh, you know, I can't play at home because I don't have anybody to play. Things like things like the, the mixing up your your side jumps, your your mixing up your fall speed, your drifting, uh, things like all of that. It's just basic control of a character. It's the same person of the guy pitching a baseball to somebody. Okay, he doesn't he can't practice what it's like to pitch it towards a person that someone's gonna catch it, but he can practice the movement, the movement of pitching again and again and again and again. And this is this is what makes the sport e-sport. This is what makes it what it is. I play both. I love sports. I love esports. I think they're both phenomenal in their own way. And really, Smash is a game that's like, it's a chess match. It's a chess match that's constantly going on. You have to constantly be thinking, what is the other person doing? What can I do to, to change it, to make it more difficult? What can I do? And it becomes rock, paper, scissors sometimes that, okay, well, if you do rock and I switch to paper, now I'm beating you. But the person, the other person now needs to adjust. Okay, well, if you go on paper, I'm going to go scissors. And then, it, then you go in full circle. But it goes even further than that because when you have one player that's so dominant, that's so dominant to the other player, they can even double take it. They can think, they can think to themselves, all right, I need to go for the opposite. This one will be the counter, but then he's going to do this, so I need to do the second counter. And they actually put themselves in a worse position because the person never actually was fighting against them and thinking that deep. It's incredible the way you can dive into the game so please. Dancing Blade. Goji trying to get the, uh, the needles off him. Gets one there. Dashes. Grab attack. Forward air. Done. Should be cake. So there it is. It looks like Godzilla Brawler is going to take this game. He's, uh, he's up. It's 1-1 on the game count, but in this game, he's doing significantly better. Um, he's having a lot of, there it is, that side smash. That's so important. Right there, it cost him the stock, and he needs to know it's coming. He's taking a minute, thinks about it. Okay, I know what to do. I can handle this. Wait, he comes forward, and he even, he stays low. He crouch cancels because he knows if he, if he comes up, if he comes up with a get up attack, then at least I can crouch cancel that and punish him afterwards. So, able to get some pointage. Here it is. No, forward air. Just grab ledge and wait. Good. Grab and back. All right, watch and repeat does not happen. We'll take this though. So Godzilla has some needles. Looking for the side smash. There it is. Need to know what's coming. Need to know what's coming. It cost her all her stock. Is Furon able to bring this back? Oh man, it would be great. 147%. If Furon can bring this back, it'd be incredible. Good for Furon if he does it. But at the same time, it's incredible. It's incredible to see these guys playing. See, right here, Godzilla Brawler is going for those bread and butter combos of I'm going to down throw you, I'm going to down throw you, I'm going to get that forward air. But it's not going to work for him because he's at such a high percent. So, okay, here's a good opportunity. Just wait him out. Here it is. Ooh, but again, he gets that up B. I'm going to get you off that. So now just wait for him. Down throw forward air. There it is. There it is. Godzilla Brawler going for it. Good job. That's it. So that'll take on. Godzilla Brawler moves on on loser side. Rest of the tournament going to be interesting. Dutch commenting. Thank you so much for joining.